congrats to all the teams that made it this far. Tonight, the real fun begins with Timber Creek and DeLand in our McCoy Game of the Week. Wolves entering the postseason on an eight-game win streak. They also won the district, so hosting the first round against the Bulldogs, but they would not find the end zone first thanks to a botched punt by the Wolves. Wet ball causing some problems early. A few plays later, Avante Williams goes up the middle for a 15-yard touchdown. Williams also happens to be a four-star defensive back committed to Oregon, and on the Wolves' ensuing possession, he picks off Jake Johnson. First interception of the year for the Timber Creek QB. A few plays later, Leon Roll running with his big boy pants on. Fumbles it after he crosses the goal line. That's okay, though. It's 14-0 to land. But in the second, Wolves finally break through. Jael Capretti. Giving the home fans something to cheer about makes it 14-7. Let's skip ahead to late in the third. Bulldogs back in the red zone. Jaden Nershall wings it to Cam Miller. Just the second time this year the Timber Creek defense has given up more than 20. In the fourth, though, Capretti with his second short touchdown run of the night. That makes it a one TD game again. Late in the game now. Deland knocking on the door, but Alex Beck comes up with an interception of his own clutch and suddenly all the momentum is over on that wolf sideline then with 45 seconds to play jake johnson missed all of last season with a knee injury both legs working just fine here 16 yard touchdown run cuts the lead to one timber creek coaches decide to go for two and the gamble pays off johnson tucks it wolves up 22 21 but the land would have one more chance getting in range for a field goal 44-yarder falls short. Timber Creek takes its students rushing the field to celebrate their first playoff win since 2015. The decision to go for two, how hard was it? We talked about going all the way down there thinking we might go for two. Uh, what helped is one got hurt. He's our holder. We had another holder, but he was a young kid, and we just felt like it wasn't fair to put him under that pressure. Felt like, let's win it now. You know, with the rain coming in, we didn't know what overtime would be like, so we just felt like it was the right thing to do, and it was, obviously. What was the design of the play? Well, we were supposed to hit something on the front side, ran the motion and ran uh, what we call turbo, a little pick play, and it got bottled up. Jake saw the back door, just made a break, and, and the rest is history. Defense stepped up in their final try. Well, really, they, they played well all game long. We gave them a short field the first two times, went up 14 nothing, and then missed a field goal in the first series, second half. So I can't blame them. They played really hard. They never give up and made a pick, got a big pick down here, a good stop. And, uh, you know, our kids don't quit. That's the nice thing about it, and, and they're going to play another week because of it. Survive in advance and you guys did. Yeah, it's like number 25 said. He said, we're not done yet, and that's how we feel. We're not done yet. All right, great way to start the night.